Hi guys, this is lesson number 12 from our Coral Draw training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about selection behaviors and stacking orders in Coral Draw. Actually, this exercise is supposed to be in the beginning of our training series, but for some reason, I was not able to post. I feel that uh, this lesson is very important before you go to the advanced level of uh, Coral Draw. Simple selection in Coral Draw, we already learned how to select the object, how to resize, how to rotate. But in this exercise, we are going to do some further step. We will go more in depth. So let's get started. Here you can see that I have a square box and this from this I am going to start. We will draw one box here. Okay, the color is filled already and we don't need to change anything. If you are going to select the object, you need to click on pick tool and you are clicking. Previous lesson we are doing this way, we are selecting object, right? When you will click, you will be able to select the object. The other method in Coral Draw to select the object by dragging window around object, you need to click and drag. So the object, it must be inside this uh, window preview, so you will be able to select like this. But directly in Coral Draw, we don't have cross selection. This is called window selection. If you will select object this way, it is called window selection. If you click, this is a click selection. And there is another selection, cross selection. Okay, what is cross selection? You will just touch the object this way and Coral Draw will select. But directly we don't have any uh, method. So for this cross selection, you will press Alt key from the keyboard and click and drag. Okay, so you can select the object this way. If you want window selection, you need to drag window around. And if you want to touch the object and select, press Alt key and touch this way anywhere. And Coral Draw will select the object. Even more than one object, we can select this way. I will press plus key and we have another object here. You can see that if I will drag window around, I can select this way. My both objects are inside the window. If the object is out of the, this window, you cannot select. Okay, but if you will press Alt key and click and drag to touch both objects, even the objects are not inside the window, still you will be able to select. This is called cross selection. Okay, window selection this way. And if you will touch the object by pressing Alt key, it is called cross selection. So this is how we can select the object. Once I will click back on my this object and you can see that the object selected object is having different behaviors. In the center, we have a cross. You can see that here. And from all the side, we have points. Once I will click inside, I will be able to activate skew and rotate control. If I will click back again outside and click, you can see that we have transform control. We can move object this way. And from the corner, we can resize. To resize the object from the corner, once you will hold the object, you will be able to resize from one side this way. Okay, and if you want to resize object from center point, you will hold it from the corner by pressing shift key. Okay, press shift key and you can see that the object is going to be resized. So here we have object. Look at this. It's become small. Control Z, undo to go back. If I want, I can make a copy of this object. Press plus key and uh, we are going to resize. Press shift key and resize from center. So we have another object in the middle. I will fill different color. So this is how we have done. Another thing, uh, if you want, you can resize object from midpoint from here. If I will click and drag down, you can see from one side the object is resized. Control Z, undo to go back. From any side, I can do this way. And if I want to resize object from both side, I will press Shift key from both side. Coral Draw will resize the object. Okay, you can do this from vertical direction and you can do it horizontally also. By pressing shift key, Coral Draw will resize object from both sides. Okay, so let's go to the next. We need to click in the middle. Once I will click in the middle, you can see that around my object, now we have rotation control and skew control. Okay, if I want to bring my mouse on this rotation point and rotate, the object will follow the center point. You can see that if I will click and rotate from center, I am rotating object this way. Undo, Control Z. If I want with a specific angle rotation, I can 
bring the mouse here and rotate from this center point I can press control key so now it is snapping so this is how I can rotate object with the specific angle now let's copy this object once again another way of uh, rotating object if I want I can rotate object and at the same time I can resize it I will click in the middle you can see that here we have a, a rotation sign if I will click and drag coral draw will just rotate object but while I am clicking and uh, rotating object I will press shift key now coral draw will resize at the same time as well okay I am rotating and resizing also if I will bring the mouse out it will be resized it will be transformed big and small this way by pressing shift key if you will rotate the object it will be resized and rotate at the same time so you can see that Control Z to go back if you will press alt key and rotate the rotation behavior will be different press alt key and rotate from this point now the object will be rotated and squash you can see that bring the mouse far so you can control easily while I am rotating if I will bring the mouse far my object will be squash also so this way rotate and squash while pressing alt key I will reduce the size a little bit once again I am going to copy object press plus and bring it here similar behavior we can also achieve uh, with skew you can click in the middle and you can see that we have skew points here simple skew is vertically and horizontally this way okay and if I want control Z undo I can skew horizontally undo and if I want I can press alt key and you can see that the object is going to be skew and squash at the same time control Z one more thing about rotation if I will click and rotate by pressing shift key I will be able to resize and if I will press control at the same time shift and control both you can see now with a specific angle I am rotating also and it's going to be resized as well so with specific angle you need to press shift and control both our object has been resized and rotated control Z to go back by default you can rotate object from the center point another very nice feature in Coral Draw is you can assign the center point wherever you want and from which place you want to rotate object now our center point is in the middle and if I will rotate you can see that the object will be rotated this way right from this center point but if I want I can specify my own center point I can click and drag this center point here okay now if I will rotate object my object will be rotated from that center point you can see that control Z to go back and uh, if I want to bring back the center point I can press control key click and drag in the middle so perfectly it will come in the middle if I will click and drag like this wherever I want I can place my center point and my object will be rotated from that place you can see and if I will press control key it will maintain also the specific angle if you want to snap the center point with some corner or uh, in the midpoint you can press control key and click on the center point and bring wherever you want you can see that it is snapping now okay so let's say I want uh, this midpoint here so if I will rotate now this time coral is rotating my object from that midpoint undo and if I want to bring back again press control key and bring this circle in the middle this way it will be snap so that is also another feature to rotate object it is very uh, useful practically you can apply in your work now uh, we are going to talk about uh, stacking order you can see that here we have three objects we don't need to draw we can take these three circular shape and uh, as you can see I will make it clear now we have a uh, three circular shape okay sometime while you are working you have more object and the crowded scene and your objects are overlapping this way and uh, it is quite hard to select the object which is under other object so let me show you how to manage that let's say I have three objects here and uh, I want to select the blue so usually I will click on this blue to select if I want to select the yellow I will click on the yellow and if I want to select orange I will click on the orange that is the normal behavior and another way if I want to select the blue I can drag window around that so the blue is selected but what if this blue object I want to select from this place because sometimes the objects in the crowded scene you don't have choice to select from this area so you need to select here so if I will click here in this area I know that the blue object is under yellow and orange 
in this area the blue object circle radius it's coming here three of them overlapping in this area so if i i will click here coral draw will select only orange object so how to access yellow object or blue object by pressing alt key okay press alt key and click on this uh, orange in this area make it sure that object that you are going to select it is already under that so if i will click by pressing alt key you can see that now yellow is selected while i am holding alt if i will click again now blue is selected and if i will click again orange is selected so once you will press alt and click on the specific place coral draw will select the object gradually next and next now orange is selected while i am pressing alt if i will click yellow is selected if i will click again as long as the blue object is under my mouse cursor it will be selected and you can see that if i will move this is easy way to select the object and even if the object is hidden behind still you will be able to access if you know the object is there let's say we have here this uh, blue circle i will make it small and bring it here if i want to select that circle let's change the color here i will remove color from inside and i will apply outline we know already this circle is behind so if i will click you can see that even i am clicking inside but coral dry selecting this one because this circle is in the front if i will click here i am not able to access easily this circle here this trick is very handy you can press alt key and click look at this small circle is selected release the alt key and move wherever you want okay that is the way let's bring back the colors another thing uh, when you are moving object in your page in your document in coral draw uh, you can move object this way you can click and drag i am moving object wherever i want but if i want to move straight horizontally or vertically i can move and press control key look at this i am moving and even i can move vertically so if you will release the control key freely you can move wherever you want object that is also very handy and while creating design you really need that also that's all guys uh, now you know about the selection and stacking order in depth i hope it will help and make easy your workflow in coral draw try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you